Okay, I hope I got everything all fixed. Give me a second, everyone. I have to check. Okay, that's a lot better. I have no clue why OBS crashed right there. That was completely weird. Yeah, OBS crashed, so we're gonna get some ads again. Sorry about this, everyone. But yeah, more or less, we're go going to we're going to the OLED system in the Gamma Quadrant. Kai Opaka is right now trapped there, and we're got and we have to get and we have ourselves secured to get the prisoners off of the planet, including her. Okay. I think I'll begin the makeshift pole arm. Something else on your mind? Nope. Let's take the wormhole to the gamma quadrant. Now just a little side note. This is technically a battle zone. You have to basically get to a if you're not doing if you're doing the battle zone stuff, you have to go to a certain place. Then click on ba basically queuing up for a battle. But it says, I'm not doing that. I'm doing, doing story content in the Gamma Quadrant. We're going to the OLED system. Let's begin, ar begin Armistice. Good, we've arrived. I suggest scanning the prison moon and its satellite network. They might have fixed the design flaw we exploited here years ago to bypass their defenses. This should be interesting. Those satellites could cripple a Starfleet runabout with one shot back then. I'd rather not find out how powerful they are now, if you don't mind. Agreed. Helm, take us to scanning range. Yeah, this place is going to cause a little bit of issues with frames, so bear with me. Looks like the satellite weapon and defense systems were updated to deal with modern vessels, but they still have the same flaw that Mars O'Brien took advantage of years ago. Interesting. Tell me more. You should be able to distract the satellites by firing probes near their position. Distract enough of them, and you'll clear an area long enough to safely beam down an away team. Alrighty then, let's do this. Picking up some debris clouds from Herc ships in orbit. Fire probe. It's possible some Herc bypassed the satellites. Fire another we should one. Be ready. Looks like O'Brien's trick still works. The satellites took the bait, and we have a safe transport window. Right, Helm, bring us to transporter range. And try not to get us blown up. We're in position. I recommend we bring some pattern enhancers along. Local interference can make it tough to get a lock on, and we might have to leave in a hurry. Agreed. All right. The doctor and I are ready to beam down when you are. Though I can't say I'm thrilled to see that moon again. All right, let's go. Ah, the wreckage of the Yangtze Jang. Or what's left of her, rather. Looks like the locals have scavenged everything of value from the old girl. Unlike her, they can never die thanks to the nanotech inside of them. Until we provide the cure. Right. The last time we were here, the prisoners were eager to be cured, if only to get the chance to kill their rivals off for good. 
I'm hoping that Opaka has shown them a better path in the time she's been here among them. Let's find out. I don't... I'm going to keep the minigun for this... Keep my minigun equipped till I decide otherwise. I think I might need a pulse wave sooner or later. Hold on, everyone. Need to check something here. All right. We're not alone. Herc life signs dead ahead. Chat, just you know, tell. Hold on, Dad said stuff. This is interesting. I just ran a medical scan on these Herc. They're not regenerating. There's no sign of the alien nanites in their bodies. Something in the Herc genetic makeup isn't compatible with the nanites. Well, that's good to know. Okay, let's see what he sent me. Come on. Uh, that's wrong. That's... <sighs> Click the wrong thing. And I'll continue to move while the thing loads up on Instagram. Oh, looks like a makeshift door. Ooh, that looks good. It looks like pork chops or or la or some sort of barbecued lamb, maybe. Dad knows me well. <laughs> Come on. There's more there. We're here to help. Keep fighting. Oh, we got more. Man, you stupid bugs. <laughs> I think you'll find that she'll be in good health within moments. The healing nanites are quite effective. In fact, they seem to have become more efficient than they were last time I was here. Amazing. That was a mortal wound. You can relax. I'm fine now. Really. You made it. Good. The Kai's been expecting you. She has? Yes. She's had a vision about you coming here. Come with us. We'll take you to her. Unless you'd rather stand around here until more of those things show up. That won't be necessary. Lead on. The Kai's waiting for you. In the temple ahead. Welcome. It's been some time since we've had peaceful visitors. And Kai Kira, it's been too long. Truly, the prophets have okay, smiled upon us today. Okay, wonder why the today. mouth... Why th Indeed they have. 
we oh, great. Dad said more stuff. You'll be able to live a normal life away from here. You'll be free. And we have something to bring And it's pastrami on rye. A miracle. Is... Is that... Yes. A blessing from the prophets. The orb of peace. Through it, we ended the war between Ennis and Noel Ennis. I'm not going to get into looking As at all that stuff. See, our peace has been shattered by the arrival of the hostile aliens. We have tried to speak with them, to find reason, but we have... They're yep. called Herc, and there's no reasoning with them. They attack and, and really devastate the button while every I was world, every species down the they encounter. Phone. We need to get you and your people out of here as soon as possible. I see. We must take the orb with us as well. I can't have it falling into the hands of such a warlike species. It would be like the occupation all over again. That's not going to happen. I won't allow it and neither will my friends. We can administer the cure to everyone in groups. With your permission, we'll start right away. Very well. Begin the procedure. I'm sure many of us are eager to leave this place and begin a new life together. Understood. So Go start curing some prisoners, then. Some time ago, I asked Bashir for this cure. I wanted to use the cure as a weapon and kill the enemy. I couldn't put the war with the Knoll behind me. I hated him for denying my chance for vengeance. Now, that's changed, thanks to the Kai. I found a better path. I just want to lead a simple, natural life. You can now. Make the most of it. After all this time, to live a normal life, it's like waking up from a really bad dream. I, I can think about having a family again. An actual family. I don't know what else to say except thank you. You're welcome. A cure, huh? Well, this cure had better work, friend. Or we won't be friends no more. Get me. We're all on the same side here. Then it's true what the Kai saw in her dreams. Those visions. The prophets sent us the orb, and now they sent you with our deliverance from this horrible place. Truly, the prophets smile upon us all. Let us hope that good fortune continues. Is this for real? This cure? They talked about it a little after the Kai arrived, but I thought it was a myth. Never thought it was actually real. So, I can die now. Funny. I never thought I would. Hold on, everyone. And now that I can, I'm a little scared. Person decided to advertise and they get banned. Even though it says likely harasser, comma, restricted. So guess what? Luckily you don't get to see it. Anyway, not really. Most people are. And final one. When they put me here, all I knew was war. I don't remember why it started, just that there was us and the Ennis. And the Ennis had to die. Even when the Kai came, I didn't believe. But when they found the orb and people stopped killing, things changed for me. Eh, guess there's something to faith after all. Anyway, thanks for everything. You're welcome. Looks like you're down to one dose of the cure. Use that to inoculate the Kai. Kai or Parker, that is. I'll administer the cure to the rest here. All right, doctor. All right, here's the last, last, last of my doses for you. 
You have my thanks for all you have done for us today. May the blessings of the prophets be yours. And yours, Eminence. Those things are attacking! Defend yourselves! Oh, great. I'm afraid he's dead. There's nothing we can do for him. I see. Though we will mourn the loss of our friend, Gollum, we can take comfort knowing that, at long last, he was able to leave this place for a better one. He is finally at peace, and his park will join the prophets in the Celestial Temple. My condolences, my condolences Eminence. Admiral Small, Small Herc. A small Herc vessel was able to make it past the satellite network. You're going to have company down there soon. Right. Clear transport window for us. Not an option. Oh, the Herc ship getting through plus our earlier deception. Put the defense grid on high alert. The probe trick isn't working on the satellites. Okay, what's the new evac plan then? We're attempting to hack the satellite command network. Once, we do, once we've done so, we'll be able to close range to, to close range to or stay close to transfer range and beam out safely. There's still a lot of local interference, however. If you can get back to the initial transport site and activate your pattern enhancers, we'll be able to get a better lock on your position. All right, keep me updated. The doctor and I will stay with Opaka and her people in case the Herc make another attack here. Once you've cleared the way to the transport site, we'll join up with you there. Acknowledged. Good luck, Eminence. Take this path. Hello there. <laughs> Nothing like jumping down for an ambush. <laughs> Got that, got that boss down. Not everyone made it out in one piece. Set up the pattern enhancer so we can beam out safely. There's no telling when the Herc will send reinforcements down. Indeed. Pattern enhancer. Hopefully we didn't confuse the, the, the tri, the, these ones with the trialic ones. Nope, these are the right ones. Okay, we got a solid lock on your signal, Admiral. Ready to beam up on your order. Beam us up, then! Okay, I'll be right back, everyone, real quick. I need to blow my nose. And I'm back. Sorry, I had to quickly hunt down something to blow my nose with. <laughs> Okay, we're reading a Herc fleet inbound to our position. Until we deal with them, 
We won't be able to lower shields and beam the rest of the colonists out. Are we still attempting to hack these satellites? Yes, we currently have partial access to their command network. Give us a little more time and we'll be able to reprogram the fight on our side. Make it happen quickly! more Herc at long range. A lot more. We don't have a lot of time. We are ready to reprogram the satellites, however. Staying by to broadcast a signal to the command network. Do so now. Let's move the ship behind the satellites and lure the Herc in. Okay, I'll, sh I'll shuttlecraft back to me. Just in time. Here they come. for now. Let's get the rest of Opaka's people out of the colony while we can. The Herc might send a larger force to finish us off. Agreed. Transporter control. Energize. I'm glad I was able to administer the cure to the remaining prisoners while you were clearing a path to the transport site. Everyone is safely aboard and mortal for the first time in many years. I've never seen so many people overjoyed to learn that eventually they'll die. Indeed. Thank you, Julian. It means a lot to me to have everyone out safely. We have a lot to talk about, her and I. 
For now, I think we should return to Deep Space Nine before the Hurt come back to settle the score. Agreed. Let's get out of here. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. Emissary, our paths meet again. Hello, Ben. It's good to hear from you. I'm glad we were able to return Opaka to Bajor safely. She's determined to follow the will of the Prophets and establish a new place of worship in the Gamma Quadrant near the Wormhole. Odo assures me that the Dominion are open to discussing this. <laughs> we'll see. Many of us have not forgotten the fate of the new Bajor colony, and the Dominion's role in that. As for me, my time as Kai is coming to an end. Opaka is the Kai that Bajor needs now. I intend to guard the Celestial Temple from the Herc and anyone else who would destroy the home of the Prophets. The best place to do that is Deep Space Nine, as part of Starfleet. I'll be Captain Kira the next time you see me. Thank you again for helping me bring Opaka home. I owe you one. Alright, get that. Collect the reward. The Dominion has asked the Alliance to send an expeditionary force into the outer reaches of their territory. The Herc aren't as numerous there, and we're hoping we can learn more about them while we render aid to the Dominion in that sector. Ambassador Odo will be accompanying us on his flagship, along with Captain Kira aboard the Defiant. I'll be commanding a modest Cardassian fleet as well. We'll start in the Dosi system. Our latest intelligence has discovered a Herc presence in that area. Meet us there at your earliest convenience. Alrighty then. That is definitely what I'm going to be getting. Uh, this, this is basically the ground version of this. The Azura personal com code. Be seeing you. And, and I'm just going to transwarp there. I'm not going to go through the por through the wormhole every single time. <laughs> And begin the search. Thank you for joining us. As you can see, we can't even defend our stations from Herc attacks. It's going to take a joint Alliance and Dominion effort to stop them. We are currently at the edge of the Dosi system. Thankfully, the Herc aren't attacking the Dosi homeworld yet. They're starting to evacuate as a precaution, however. Who are the Dosi? The Dosi recently joined the Dominion after many years of independence. Their aggressive fondness for commerce can be troublesome, but they've managed to prove their worth to the Founders. Work on this planet was a joint project with the Karemans, and the Dominion built a station here to provide oversight. Understood. All ships, target the Herc and fire at will. Victory is life! Seems off kilter. <laughs> I can see you're a handy person to have around. 
And while I'd like to put this system far behind us, I believe we should find out what we can about the Herc and their reasons for being here. While we still can, of course. The Herc may decide to send more ships here. Very well, Counselor. Scan the planet. This planet appears to have been abandoned some time ago. No life signs detected. Sensors indicate an extensive network of fun mines. I mean, residual levels of lithium, topoline, hemocyte, several components used in the production of Ketracel White. How curious. Of what use would this world be to the Herc? It's clearly of no value to the Dominion. Wait. I'm reading more Herc inbound. Battle stations, everyone. They're going for the station. What are they after? We should scan the station. Got ourselves another one here that keeps it's got another person that basically advertising the same link. Now where were we? Scan the station. The station is a basic resource transport hub, not exceptionally old. No life signs on sensors. It looks abandoned. I'm picking up trace levels of mineral resources in several storage areas, but there's nothing of note here. Unless the Herc are driven solely to consume an assortment of minerals. This is a very interesting place, in that it's completely oh. uninteresting to everyone but the Herc. I don't think the answers we're looking for are here. Uh, don't go to warp just yet. We're picking up a distress signal over here. You should take a look. I'll go check. There we go. Looks like it's a Ferengi signal of uncertain origin coming from the Karema system. Hmm. I seem to recall Quark mentioning some business with the Karemans recently. <laughs> this can't be a coincidence. We should look into this. Quark might have bitten off more than he can chew again. Alrighty then. Is Let's that go. really a good use of our time? The Karemans are very resourceful. They design a considerable number of weapons and defense systems for the Dominion. I'm confident they can deal with the Herc on their own. As for Quark, he's quite capable of getting himself out of trouble. Trouble, I might add, that he had no business getting into in the first place. That is true. I must say, Ambassador, I'm shocked. I know Quark's a gambler, but I never realized you were as well. Karema is a part of the Dominion, and an important one at that. Is losing their tactical and technological resources to the Herc wise? Very well. Since I can see there's no talking you out of this, I'll accompany you to Karema. We're ready to go warp when you are. Let's get this over with. Let's go. Where did all these ships come from? And here we are, the Karema system. Let's find out what Quark needs, deal with it, and move on. What's going on here? Far be it for me to question the word of a founder, but that is a very large Dominion fleet I'm reading on sensors. I only mention it because we were led to believe Odo's fleet was the last. I trust there's a reasonable explanation for this miscommunication. Yeah, okay, yeah I agree, Garrick. Uh, um, but right now the Dominion flagship is hailing us. Your presence is not required here. 
Explain yourself. I should ask you the same question. What you could do and should do are separate matters, Solid. You would be wise to learn the difference. Karema is part of the Dominion. We are here to assist them, if they wish it. Okay, anyway, you have more fleets than Odo reported. Odo commands an expeditionary fleet. It is his to use in a mission to seek and destroy the Herc as he sees fit. My fleet is a defense fleet. It seems the distinction was not made clear to you. How unfortunate. Okay, well, we wish to assist the Karemans. I will take responsibility for their actions in Karemans space. One of our operatives requires immediate extraction. And Dad sent something... See? Yep, a whole bunch of meat. <laughs> it looks so good. It, oh, it's definitely barbecue. And it says, All you can eat Tuesdays. Why must he do this to me? Why? You're quite persistent, aren't you? Very well. In the spirit of our newfound pact with the Alliance, I will allow you to proceed, albeit at your own risk. Exercise caution, Odo. It would be tragic for you to come so far, only to end it all here over Karima. By the way, this is this female changeling is the one from deep from the Deep Space Nine series. All right, indeed. It seems we're not getting the whole story here. So, business as usual. Exactly, Captain. Um, there's my... I wonder where, the sh where my fighters were. Salvage, no salvage all items. Yeah, I think I got enough. Let's hail the Karemin ships. No response, Admiral. I'm trying all hailing frequencies, but I'm getting nothing in return. Keep trying. My sensors are showing a broad band of interference in the area. It's jamming the standard Karemin hailing frequencies. Might I suggest giving them a new, more secure frequency to use for communications? I'll send them a new frequency. Let's transmit. Hello! Can you hear me? We need help! And fast! Most of our planetary defense lines are in danger of being overrun by the Herc. We tried to evacuate, but the Jem'Hadar fleet opened fire on our ships when they broke orbit. We're trapped! The Jem'Hadar fired on you? Odo, your thoughts? Combat is notoriously chaotic. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for that. One best pursued after we find Quark and help the Karemans. Okay, we'll play it, play it your way for now. Hmm, I wonder. Ah, yes. We should try to find Quark soon. It's quite possible he's the only Ferengi on the planet. A deep-range sensor scan should locate him. Okay, we'll scan for Quark. Took a few scans, but I found one Ferengi life sign, Admiral. It's surrounded by a handful of Karema and a large number of, number of Herc. 
There's a lot of interference at that area, so we can't get a transport lock on him at this time. Can we hail them at least? Finally. Coming, Quark! We need to get Quark out quickly, before he has an encounter with the Herc of the Fatal Variety. Let's go down together while Captain Kira and the Ambassador cover our ships in orbit. We'll have to beam down outside of Quark's location. I suggest bringing some pattern enhancers along. We may need them to beam out once we find him. Alright, I'm ready. And Dad said more stuff. We're about as close to Quark's last known location as we can get with transport. I'm not, I'm not afraid, watching that right we'll now. Have to make the rest of the journey the but old it's more food. Way. Shall we? Okay, let's go, Counselor. Quark's life sign is near here. Let's try to find a way in. I see a cave, so I'm assuming this way. How convenient. We've found a hidden path. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the minigun. Interesting. The metal in the walls here completely scatters my senses. Ah, more of it. Seems we're in the right place. My tricorder shows a Ferengi life sign beyond that rather secure door. Unfortunately, the Karemin security system is beyond me. Given time, I could crack it, but we're running low on that commodity. There are a number of Karemin life signs nearby, however. One of them might be able to help us reach Quark. All right, let's go do this. Really need a different weapon, but okay. Let's talk to you. Thought that was it. I was gonna get eaten by one of those things. Can't say I like that idea much. So, uh, thanks, whoever you are. You're not police or military, well, Kremen military anyway. What brought you down here to the middle of hell? We're looking for a Ferengi. Oh, him. I think I saw my brother and some of his men hustle the little grifter into a vault before those monsters got in here. Good luck getting him out of there. Wait, that, that was rude. You just saved my life. Let me return the favor. Ooh. One of my brother's people that said another open thing. door for you. Find them and you're all set. Got it. And Dad sent what looks to be prime rib. That really does look good. Why must he do this to me? Uh, perhaps waiting here would be best. The outer world is still a mess. Oh, whoa. that's uh. There we go. By the way, Dad knows that I am streaming. He just does it just to... Just to have, have some... Just to have fun.
thanks for the timely rescue. I, uh, don't suppose you'd be willing to turn a blind eye to all the contraband you've seen down here? Um, it'd save me the trouble of shooting you later. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> kidding. I was kidding. You know, humor. Do they have that on your planet? <clears throat> anyway, um, you're uh, clearly not Karemin police, so what brings you down here? Looking for a Ferengi named Quark. Oh, Quark, yeah, I know him. Little guy, big ears, flashy dresser. I hear he owns a moon. And we locked him up in a secure room when the shooting started. Big spender like that should be kept safe. I'll tell you what, help us out with all these nerks, gurks, I mean, whatever you call them. Help us, and I'll help you. Deal? Deal. Got one more command to save. The other Dominion ships Raymond just left save? the system. We're on our own. Well, that's not All good. Alright, I'll wait for you here. Try not to die, okay? Yeah. And now it's smoked brisket again. That dad sent. I I don't know if you hear the uh, hear the chirping of of an alert from my phone, but my dad but dad sends stuff and I hear chir hear the beep basically. All right. Am I glad to see you? Thought for sure we'd be safe from those things down here. Caves do a number on sensors and transporters, but that didn't slow them down much. Filthy creatures. If you don't mind my asking, why are you here? You're not with Karim in defense. Are you mercenaries? Private security? No, we're looking for a Ferengi. That'd be Quark, then. Only Ferengi around here that I know of, anyway. He's in a secure vault, not far from here, with another VIP. Look, I owe you my life. But I don't have the code to get to Quark. There are others nearby. One of them should have it. We've helped Help them. them, and I'll make sure they open the door for you. I swear it. We've already helped the rest. Let's go get Quark. Just follow me. The door's right there. I'll stay here while you save everyone. And here we all are, alive and kicking. Wonderful. We had a deal, and I'm not about to back out on it, especially since you're all so well-armed and cranky. Not I'm not the cranky. Kind of people I want to cross. <laughs> yeah, that can't be good. Door's open. You'd better get a move on. Your pal sounds a little stressed. Yeah, let's move. <laughs> Good to see you too, Quark. I see your mission was a successful one as well. Yes, Garrick, I found your mysterious widget. What is it exactly? It's not Karemin Tech. They found it a few days before I got here. I haven't had a lot of time to analyze it, thanks to the Herc. I see. Thank you, Quark. This narrows things down considerably. It does. Good! That makes it more valuable. Indeed it does, my friend. Indeed it does. Uh, 
Okay. Talk to you in a minute, Quark. Let's talk to the first mo minister. Not here. the liberator as I was expecting, but thank you nonetheless. I'm First Minister Bakelba. Our situation has gone from bad to worse, and we have the Dominion to thank for it. In what way? Those of us on the edge of the Dominion were abandoned when the invasion began. In light of that, we voted to secede, to truly stand alone. The Dominion stood by while the Herc attacked us. We held off the invasion for a while, but their numbers are great. When we asked for aid, the Dominion refused. When we tried to evacuate, their fleet opened fire. They mean to punish us for our defiance. Give me one second. Dad said more brisket. I now have to complain. I am leaving this unmuted. Dad? Stop sending brisket. Oh, he's coming. Okay, no more brisket. How about lamb? Yum. <sighs> Love you too, Dad. And he gave off an evil laugh. <laughs> anyway, that's unexpected. They need allies. But anyway, let's talk to Quark. You feeling a lot better now? Well, First Minister. It looks like my distress call was heard. We're saved. Thank you. Looks like your reputation for getting things done is well deserved. You're welcome. And as for you, Garrick, you and I need to have a long discussion. Seems you forgot to mention that Karema was under a Dominion blockade and in the middle of a Herc invasion. Do Cardassians go senile? Oh, don't answer that. I don't want to know. What I do know is that you're not paying me enough for this aggravation. Calm down, Quark. You're safe now. I only need to set up pattern enhancers for us to get a lock and beam everyone out of your location. All right. Acknowledged. Again, are they, are they the trialic pattern enhancers? Because I don't want to get the get a dose. Leaving. For now. Good luck with the revolution, Minister. You'll need it. You'll be hearing from me soon, Garrick. I'm looking forward to it. You won't when you see my bill. I have Wait, my suspicion. Now that we're past that unpleasantness, I think it's time we had a chat with Ambassador Odo, particularly about this technological wonder we've acquired. What is it exactly? I have my suspicions, of course. Suffice it to say, I believe you'll find its purpose of great interest to all concerned parties. My main curiosity lies in what the Ambassador will have to say about it. I propose we get to the bottom of this together. Very well. Excellent. I'll make all of the necessary arrangements and meet you aboard Odo's flagship. All right, let's beam up. What is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Stand down, all of you. To what do I owe this unexpected visit? I hope you'll forgive the intrusion, Ambassador. We need to speak in person. What are you up to, Garrick? That's a very good question. What's this about, exactly? It's in regard to this device we found on Karema. Do you know what it is? No idea. Some new Karemin military tech, perhaps? Interesting. But no. The Karemins didn't make this. 
but it is a Dominion creation. And its purpose? I'm sure I have no idea, Ambassador. It does emit a signal, however. It's quite similar to that used by the Herc. Perhaps I should turn it on and show you? There's no need for that. I don't like where this is going, Garrick. Nor I, Captain. You see, I found a similar device. On Bajor. On Bajor? When? Right after the recent Herc attack, I'm afraid. That Captain, doesn't sound good. Scan the device. You'll find the soil residue on it is of Bajoran origin. It does. It's from the Kendra province. Well, th that doesn't mean that Odo... Enough, Nerees. I can't have you defending me on this. What? Garrick's right. These devices call the Herc, and we put them there. Explain. Now. We needed the Alliance's help immediately. There wasn't time for summits or diplomacy. So I found a high-value target and led the Herc to it. I also took steps to make sure their attack would fail. Bajor was never at risk. You have to understand that. Yeah, you deserve that, Odo. In this instance. You put my entire planet at risk. People died, Odo. Norris. Save it. I've heard enough. Please continue, Odo. You were saying? I did what I needed to do to bring the Alliance into the war. I lied. Risked the lives of millions to save billions more. But there's more to this than a staged Herc attack. The other Founders are hiding things from me. If I challenge them now, I'll have no chance to find out what. So, for now, I have to play the part. Well, you're doing a great job of that, Odo. Or, should I say, Founder? Trust me when I say I understand your position, Odo. The captain, on the other hand... I know. I have a strong lead, but I'll need your help to move on it. You know how to reach me. It seems you are a gambler, Odo, and a high-stakes one at that. You have no idea. Next time, don't do that, please. Hey, let's talk to you. It is not my place to question the will of the Founders. Your mind, however, is your own. Do with it as you will, but be warned. The Founders do not appreciate betrayal. If the Alliance withdraws from their pact with the Dominion, the consequences could be severe. Yeah, for everyone involved, let's remember that. Dr. Garrick. Quite the revelation, don't you think? It will be interesting to see how the powers that be respond to all this. For now, I think it's best to keep this in the purview of the diplomats. Let's return to our ships. There'll be more time to speak about this matter later. Indeed. You really kicked over an anthill. Let's talk to Loris and Weyoun. I'm surprised to see you here, Weyoun. Aren't you usually at your founder's side? Hanging on her every word? Uh, excuse me. It is a message from said founder that brings me here now. She would remind you of your purpose. To serve the Dominion as a whole. Uh... How kind of you to deliver the message in person. Thank you for your service. As for my service, the Ambassador shares his wisdom and guidance with me. Truly, he is a most benevolent god. Why should I not serve him? He is a Founder, after all. Hello? Serve the Founders, yes. But also serve them well. Do recall the fate of your parents. Dad said more stuff, let's see. She thought see. she served the Founders well. Quite yeah, possibly it's something to the moment funny that I won't we'll check out later. To its conclusion. As we both know, she was greatly mistaken. <coughs> the same could be said for your predecessor as well, dear Weyoun. Have you forgotten his sins? I know the Founders haven't. Hey! This is a private conversation. Unless you're here on a matter of the utmost importance, I suggest you find someone else to speak with. Fine. Somewhere else. Fine, apologies. 
And your side. I need you to understand that Bajor was never at risk. We took precautions. I made sure that my fleet was in position to neutralize the Herc in time. And the Karema? Karema was not my decision. Do you honestly think I'd take part in a plot to bring allies to our side and then move to wipe out another group of allies? As I said to Garak, there is more to this than we know. I'm going to find out what and why. I hope you're inclined to join me when the time comes. We'll see. That's a lot to consider. Uh, ready to be back over? There's beam to start, Garland. We can head out of your word. Yes, beam us back over. Oh. This is a final assault. Visits thing. to the Dominion are always but I'm not so doing that. enlightening, don't you think? I suspect we've just begun to discover what the Founders are playing at here, and that concerns me greatly. After today, the wrath of Captain Kira may be the least of Odo's concerns. I do feel we need to continue working with him, however. It may be the only way we learn the true intentions of the Dominion. With that in mind, I'll contact you when we're ready to move forward with his plan. All right, get the personal Kamea Trader Khan. Be seeing you. The next one is definitely doomed to repeat. So, luckily, just click that. Odo's found something intriguing in the Masan system. Something the founders want no one to know about, even one of their own. That certainly piques my curiosity. I'll meet you in the Masan system. Odo wants to travel incognito this time. I trust you'll be able to deliver him and that surly Jem Hadar bodyguard of his to the Masan system intact. One more thing. I've taken the liberty of informing Captain Kira, and she'll be joining us as well. After the Karema incident, she's taken a personal interest in high-level Dominion activity, particularly where Ambassador Odo is involved. Okay, just want to see. Ooh, I'm definitely going to take that. Be seeing you. And before we head on over, I need to go refill my drink, everyone. So I'll be right back, especially since there's ads playing. There we go.
back, everyone. Sorry. And I'm back, everyone. Sorry about that. I also did get my headset all set back up. <laughs> and just so we're getting things done fast. And I also got myself a refill of my drink. And we are in the Masan system. And let's begin Doomed to Repeat. I only recently learned of the station here. It's very old and very well concealed, even from Vorta and Jem'Hadar. From what I can tell, the Founders studied alien life here, including the Herc. We may be able to recover useful tactical data on them from the station's computers. Okay, were you expecting th those Dominion ships out there? No, and that concerns me. This is supposed to be an abandoned facility. Take us into comms range and open a hailing frequency. Let me do the talking. I should be able to make any Vorta or Jem'Hadar fall into line if things get difficult. Agreed. Helm, take us in. So far, so good. They're not targeting us. Entering the Dominion systems without authorization has become a bad habit of yours. One I have grown weary of. You've shown a singular talent for annihilating the Herc. I suggest you return to that before my patience with your insolence expires. Noted. Ambassador said ha the ambassador has something to add, though. There's no need for this posturing, Founder. We're here on official business under my authority. Odo, it seems to be a day for defiance and bad habits. You do not have the authority to grant access to this system. It is restricted to all but those of the highest level, a level you do not possess. Now then, I suggest you leave immediately. We're not going anywhere, Founder. Fire to disable. Odo must not be harmed. Dominion forces. This is Councillor Garrick aboard the Tane. Cease hostilities. Consider that your first and only warning. We must protect the Founder. All ships, disengage! You certainly know how to make my days more interesting. An ancient Dominion research facility, guarded by the leader of the Founders? A cloaked fleet pales in comparison, but it's the best I can add to the mix. Glad you could make it, Garrick. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. The fact that the Founder was willing to fire on one of her own speaks volumes on this station's worth. I look forward to discovering its secrets. Since when does the Founder stand guard duty, Odo? She doesn't. Let's find out what she's hiding. We don't have a lot of time. We may have held off the Founder for now, but she'll be back and she'll bring friends. Let's get down there and find what we came here for before every Jem'Hadar in the Quadrant shows up. Okay. I couldn't agree more, Captain. Why don't you and the Ambassador join the away team while I remain on guard with my fleet? Thought you wanted to find some secrets, Garrick. On any other day, I'd be the first to beam down. However, after the Karema incident, I believe both the Captain and the Ambassador need to discover the truth of this station together. Call it a trust-building exercise. That's diplomatic of you, Garrick. Captain Kira makes a good point. Let's get this over with before it gets even more complicated than it already is. Alright, beam down, everyone. Looks like the station's running on auxiliary power. We've got life support, basic lighting, not much else. If we're gonna get anything useful out of this relic, we'll need to get the main power back online. Agreed. Stay vigilant. We have no idea what to expect here. All 
There's a whole bunch of Ketrasol White, looks like, there. Turn on the main power. Well done. Main power is back online. We'll be able to access other systems, including the data core. Let's find an access console and see what's in there. Hopefully the data files aren't corrupted beyond repair. Data servers. Hmm, this terminal is in poor shape. None of the files are accessible. Considering their age, I'm not terribly surprised. The founders wouldn't keep a place like this hidden to protect dust and broken files. Let's check all the data terminals and consoles in the area. That one over there looks reasonably intact. Yeah, let's go check it out. Holster this for now. Research report 4121.63 Dominion Reckoning. My fellow founders, the Masan Research Station is fully operational. As we continue to add worlds to our sphere of influence, our studies of xenobiology become more important. We must know all we can of both friend and foe. We need every advantage we can find if we are to achieve true dominion. Our Primer project is underway. You'll recall the recently discovered race of tree dwellers, hunted as we once were. Genetic engineering of these salads has produced considerable results. Their intelligence has increased by a factor of three so far. We predict the species will be the first of many loyal servitors and vassals. Interesting. She's talking about the Vorta. The date she gave was nearly 2,000 years ago, not long after the Dominion was founded. This facility's older than we thought. Much older. Indeed. Research report 4653.15. Dominion Reckoning. Our scouts have discovered an interesting species of solids at the edge of the Dominion. They are a species of sentient insectoids that live primarily underground. We may not have detected them were it not for a thorough geological scan. Initial studies have revealed that these solids are based on germanium. I've attached bioscan data we collected on them for your review. I've dispatched a research unit to study these borrowers further. They may be just what we need for the military initiative. Fascinating. Burrowing sentient insectoids. Germanium based. Hmm. She must be talking about the Herc. Judging by the date, the founders made first contact with the Herc nearly 2,000 years ago. Let's see if we can find more data. Before we continue on, let me just activate this. There we go, one holographic trader. Bank. Wrong bank. Bank account. I believe these both are, ba are bound already. And I'm going to swap to... Well, I'm going to swap to a handheld... Fa there's a... To a uh, wide beam phaser pistol. Because why not? What the? Oh, got some. S okay, need to double check. Yeah, I need to go back and deposit money. Wrong. Bank account. A little bit of maintenance stuff. I need now 10, mi 10, 10 million more credits, and I'll be able to get my ship upgraded from from 
T6X to T6X2. Check out this console. Research report, Dominion date, 7021.27. More data has arrived on the cadre species, 484 designation, Burrows. Their world's unusual orbital path has taken it out of the habitable zone. As a result, the Burrows have retreated underground and entered a state of hibernation. While dormant, a smaller servital race tends to the Burrows. They also maintain their shared habitat and technology. I've instructed the field team to take advantage of their dormancy period, and they are now conducting aggressive studies of these intriguing solids. My team initiated first contact protocols with the borrowers prior to their mass dormancy. They found them to be friendly and intelligent, if not willful. We've identified a common element in their food supply. Manipulation of this element may prove useful in subjugating them. Intelligent, friendly? Unbelievable. It sounds like the Founders made first contact with the Herc in order to find a way to conquer them. It it's like Quark says, the bigger the smile, the sharper the knife. Let's keep searching. Other f oh. Research report 7903.01. Dominion Reckoning. Cadre Species 468, designation Jem'Hadar, is a massive success. They will be the strong arm of our Dominion, guided by our cunning, brilliant Vorta. The toil of these vassals will allow us to spend more time in the Link with those we hold most dear. She sounds so proud. The birth of the Jem'Hadar, as seen through a Founder's eyes. Interesting. No mention of the Herc, however. Their designation number was lower than ours. They were our predecessors. Perhaps something went wrong? Something that led the Founders to reject and abandon them for a different species. Us. Let's find out. Oh. Here? Check out this console. Research report Dominion date 8183.67. The burrowers have emerged once again, and in a hostile state. They have taken to the stars, moving from sector to sector, attacking anyone that crosses their path. Their goal is not one of conquest, but of consumption. They leave nothing but dead worlds in their wake. Though we do not understand their newfound savagery, we have found a use for it. When the burrowers set their sights on a world, we offer the inhabitants a choice. Those that submit to our Dominion rule are defended by the Jem'Hadar. Those that don't serve as an object lesson to others. I've seen that tactic before. So, the Founders have been using the Herc to manipulate others for some time now. Bend the knee to the Dominion, or we'll stand back and let them ravage your world. Only now something's different. Something's changed. They can't keep the Herc in line with the Gemadar anymore. And we're all paying the price. Indeed. Check out this console. Research report 8532.38. Our scouts have returned from a wormhole expedition. The solid races on the other side are primitive and unremarkable, save for one. They are called Klingons, and show a singular talent for violence, one that rivals our own Jem'Hadar. Left unchecked, these savage creatures could become dangerous enemies. While the Klingons are too willful to subjugate, their genetic material could produce viable cohorts to the Jem'Hadar, or their replacements. We have begun development of a new cadre species, designation Thakiri, using demons from Klingon folklore for inspiration. Ooh. As with Jem'Hadar, we have bound them to our service with the White. We will test them in combat on the Klingons themselves. That doesn't sound real good. Research report supplemental entry 8671.71, Dominion Reckoning. 
Somehow the Fakari have broken the hold of the White and turned on their rightful masters. Most of our research team were killed. Intelligence reports suggest a union between the Fakari and a Klingon warlord known as Mular. Perhaps this will lead to a state of mutually assured destruction on Qualnos. One can only hope. So the Founders meet the Fakiri. So it would seem. Only they lost control of them, despite the use of Ketracel White. Based on what we know about Fakiri, it seems the price they paid for their freedom was insanity. They became the monsters they were based on. Unfortunately for all concerned. And last console here. Research report 9076.23. Final entry. I am weary. Soon I'll return to the Great Link. And I will be glad to be rid of this place. The borrowers have emerged again. We can barely control them this time. The Jem'Hadar were able to divert their onslaught at great cost. Rather than counterattack, they went through the wormhole to seek easier prey. Our agents in the other quadrants report that the burrow result was a sweeping one, going as far as Kronos. Hopefully they'll devour every atom of that wretched planet. The burrowers will eventually return to dormancy. Strangely, it appears that some of their forces intend on remaining in the other quadrants. It seems they have a long-term goal. Galactic devastation. They steered the Herc into other quadrants. Great. Yes. They knew the Herc problem was getting worse even then. Instead of preparing or seeking allies, they expanded the Dominion. And when the Herc re-emerged, they tried to deal with it on their own, and failed. Their arrogance may lead to the end of the Dominion. We need to get this data to the Alliance, all of it, even the damaged and corrupted files. There has to be information we can use in here. Agreed. I'm picking up something on my tricorder. There was a massive power spike on a lower deck, and now I'm reading a large number of systems cycling up. Something's happening down there. We should investigate that. Agreed. Take your team and Captain Kira down to investigate. I'll remain here and pull as much of the data as possible. We won't get another chance at this. It won't be gone long. We must be close to We must be close to the core. Hope we don't have to leave in a hurry. There's no way our ships can lock onto us down here with transporters. Yeah, not an optimal exit strategy. <laughs> Tell me about it. Let's stay focused on the mission. Now that we're closer to the signal, I'm getting better readings on my tricorder. I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure everything that came online down here has some sort of medical purpose. Is there something else on your mind? I'm still uncertain about Odo. I need to be sure he's still not a part of all this. So what are your concerns, Captain? The Odo I knew wouldn't have risked Pedro like that. This Odo seems arrogant and reckless, even dangerous. Uh, we'll keep an eye on him after we regroup, of course. Uh, that does not look good. Look like Fakiri. Frozen Fakiri. But hell freezes well, over. Well, that answers <laughs> one question. These are medical stasis pods. Judging by what we heard upstairs, I think the occupants are Fakiri. Yeah, that's bad news, everyone. That's bad news. <laughs> It gets worse. I'm picking up life signs ahead. I'll bet some of the stasis pods down here have opened. From what we know about the Fakiri, they probably won't be happy to see us. Agreed. Weppy we ready weapons and stay alert. Worf and Martok need to see this. I agree. Oh, 
Oh, there's the door. We've got company, and they don't look friendly. There were only a few of them. I don't want to be around if all of these Fakiri wake up. Let's see if we can find some way to keep the rest of these pods from opening. Agreed. Examine this. I'm picking up traces of Ketracel white in these tanks. The Dominion probably manufactured it here to keep the Fakiri in line. And took it with them when they left the facility. So, we have a station full of angry Fakiri with no way to pacify them. We should keep moving. Get these items. By the prophets. Oh, that's a whole lot. More incoming. We need an exit plan. Fast. Odo Takira, we're on our way to assist you. Oh, what the? Okay, don't know how that happened. Maurice, are you... I'll, I'll manage. Let's get out of here while we can. Victory is life. This is so is Rocky Gino, but I don't say it every five seconds. Change back to a different I think weapon. we've worn out our welcome. Garrick informs me oh, that okay, a number of triples. unidentified vessels are emerging from hidden bays throughout the station. To make matters worse, the Herc have arrived. They're beginning to assault the station as we speak, and I don't need to tell you how that will end. It's time to leave. Yeah, let's head back up then. Looks like the Herc followed us down here. Where's my there he is?
because I'm stuck behind there. And in the thing. This is just lovely. Can't continue on without <sighs> can't <laughs> it's bugged. But I'm Tess. Maybe. <sighs> Trying to figure out how to get them out. figure out how to fix this everyone just you know Figure out how to fix this. <laughs> Got one idea. I think how to get that that one out. Better try something. Let's go melee. Try to use first person mode here.
wrong. Get back under the cover shield. No need to get out. Got that out. <sighs> Down to just one, I believe. Those two under there. I'm trying to think what else to do. Sorry about this, folks. We're right now trying to wait for everything to get taken care of here. Oh. Two, one... Let's get this last one out. Give me a second, everyone. Chat just froze up on my end.
just want to get the story done, you stupid. I wonder. Everyone, move over here. Figure out an angle where I can at least shoot a mat. <laughs> Freaking attendant. It's not working either. Finally! Keep moving. We're almost there. Odo, look out! Hold your fire. I think it's trying to communicate. You might be right. Listen. Yeah, it's trying to communicate, all right. What the? Are you insane? Uh, it's way you. What do you expect? Bring the rest back over. I'm relieved to see you well. It's fortunate we arrived when we did. A moment later, and that creature would have attacked the founder. The situation was under control. Odo wasn't in any danger, Wayun. That Herc was peaceful. It was trying to communicate with us. That's your opinion. Mine is that a Founder was in danger of being attacked by a member of an aggressive species. My duty was clear, as is my conscience. We're wasting time here, Captain. The station is on the verge of being overrun by the Herc. If you want to communicate with them some more, you're free to do so, but I recommend we leave immediately. Okay, agreed. That was fun trying to get those last herbs. Uh, let's just run. It's easier that way. Just run. Once we return to the upper levels, we will be able to beam up and leave this place. Yes, let's get back to the Are ship. Are you ready to return? Oh, yes, definitely. Get out. Let's get out. I have no clue why it bugged out there, but... Hey! It was a fun distraction, trying to see me f smash my head against a wall. Glad you could join us. As you can see, the situation here has become rather combustible. The Herc I recognize, of course, but our other opponents remain a mystery. Some new type of Dominion attack craft, perhaps? Uh, no, they're not. They're not new. They're old. Fakir, they're Fakiri. Fakiri, a monster oh, story that keeps naughty Klingon children in line. Be sure to fill me in once we've managed to figure out how to 
Right. I remember Mr. Ward mentioning the Fakir. I'm beginning to see why. to be distracted. Station that's holding their attention. We might be able to take advantage of this. Are you suggesting we attack? While it's true, we have the advantage for now. I don't think we'll hold it for long once we start blowing them apart. We have what we came for. If the Herc want to gnaw on an asteroid while we make a hasty exit, I believe we should let them enjoy their meal in peace. Agreed. Very well. We'll deal with the Herc later. For now, let's get back so we can analyze the research data we found here. Whenever let's get you're out ready. of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. The Founders never disappoint, do they? Learning their role in the creation of Klingon mythology was alarming, to say the least. I can't help but wonder what other secrets we'll learn once those ancient data files are restored. I'm afraid I have bad news to share. I reviewed your encounter with that peaceful Herc, and my universal translator analysis is clear. It was trying to communicate. Damn. It was asking for help. One thing is certain. The Founders won't forget our act of defiance. We should all be on guard from now on. Our uneasy peace with the Dominion could unravel all too soon. Yeah, I agree. Let's get that universal module. And wait for the next one to pop up. My apologies for the quality of the transmission. I'm contacting you on an encrypted frequency. I'm working on an important covert mission, and I could use your assistance. I can't go into the details over comps, but you should know, if we pull this off, it could change the course of the Herc conflict in our favor. Meet with me on Deep Space Nine to go over the details. Come along. I've been asked to keep the details of the mission on a need-to-know basis, and right now, only you and I need to know. All right. Good luck. Back to Deep Space Nine.
eight no, days earlier? Absolutely not. This is your worst idea yet. Do I need to remind you of the unwritten rule of acquisition, brother? Rule zero. What the Nagus wants, we acquire. Why me? Get an Eliminator to do it. Get 50. You can afford it. You have connections with the Klingons. That and you're Rom's second most trusted Ferengi. What? Who's first? Nog? Pell? No. Moogie. Fine. Send her, then. But, brother, you did such a great job of rescuing her before. I also told your son to shoot me if I ever thought of doing something like that again. Mm, that's right, you did. Well, don't worry, he won't. That's not <laughs> what I'm worried about. We need this, brother. We can't hold off the Herc forever. Alliance forces are spread too thin to help, Quark. We need the Klingons, brother, otherwise we're doomed. Insanity! You don't even know where the Iconian fleet is, Rom. I don't, but Starfleet Intelligence monitors all major threats, including the Iconians. Starfleet isn't in the habit of sharing classified data. If we can get access to a security console, we can extract the data. We'll need to keep the security officer on duty occupied. <laughs> Leave that to me, husband. All right, Lita. The security officer on duty is a creature of habit. Comes in on a break every day without fail. Your job is to keep her occupied so Rom can get what we need from the security console. Do what you need to do. Smile, laugh at her jokes, whatever it takes. Put those feminine wiles of yours to good use. Feminine wiles? Really, Quark? <laughs> I'm not here to seduce your customers. You and I both know there's more than one way to work a mark. Whatever you say, just don't mess it up. She'll be here any minute now. You worry too much, Quark. I got this. Woo! It's your lucky day, officer. You're the 10 millionth customer here at Quark's. Congratulations! You've just won a free drink and a free spin at the Davo table. Quark, why don't you pour the lucky winner a drink? What'll it be, Constable? Oh, thanks. I'll take a nice drag to Gino. Uh, I'm on duty. I can't stay too long, but I suppose I have enough time for a spin at the table. Lead the way. Quark, will you turn that hollow me off, please? It's creeping me out. What now? This is why I like the Hollow Leader. She doesn't complain as much as the original. There. Happy? Yes, thank you, Quark. The free drink will get her to relax. And then some Dabo to keep her busy. Oh, looks like my luck's run out. Oh well. Thanks for the drink and the spin. Better get back to my station. Wait. Whoa, 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 don't be so hasty, friend. The law of averages is on your side here. Trust me. Have another spin on the house. What have you got to lose? Okay, you've convinced me. One more spin. Why not? On a rigged game? Nicely done. Uh, those winnings are coming out of your cut, though. Good. The guard's distracted. Time to go to work. Overriding this door panel should be child's play. This is the most secret maintenance panel. Chief O'Brien needed me to fix it once. Blue, green, white. Oh. 
Ah. Use DS9 engineering experience. There we go. Override. Once I'm in, I can install a back door. Then we can access the system from the console at Quarks. Okay, use digital. Test it. Example. Use test key. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Set test key to. Okay, change it to four test. Okay, we got a four. We go f change the digit, the first one to one. Wrong location. Change digit. Third. Oh. Let's brute force the last one. 2411. Okay. She's heading back, Rom. Get out of there. And relock. Go. Relax, everyone. It's done. I'm on my way back. Try not to look conspicuous or guilty. Okay. There we go. Can't believe you pulled that off. Being the Nagus hasn't made you go soft between the lobes. Let's figure this out before security gets wise. Use the console behind the bar and find out what you can about the Iconians. Oh, and while you're at it, look for any other useful information in there, too. Some of it could be valuable, you know. Okay. Relax, brother. I'll have these files cracked in no time. Starfleet yep. encryption is good, but it's nothing compared to what we use in the Commerce Authority. That's actually difficult. Okay, intelligence board. officers log start date eight seven nine six one. Blah blah blah. Intermittent Borg activity. Intelligence officers okay, log overtures. start date eight seven nine. Intelligence officers log start date eight eight one three nine point nine. A large Vakiri fleet has been spotted in transit to the Gamma Quadrant. Analysis of their course suggests they're heading toward the renegade Iconian fleet. Interesting. If the two of them manage to eliminate each other, well, that'll be two less headaches to keep me up at night. Okay, the Herc. Intelligence officers log, stardate 89001.7. Major Herc activity throughout the four quadrants. As expected, Alliance forces are spread thin in attempts to protect... Just check out the not cool real quick. Intelligence officers log start at 87997.9. I can't help but be impressed by the not cool. Their star is all but dead. Their world's an ice ball. And they refuse to leave. They defend that ice ball against all comers, even the Herc. Every not cool big enough to carry a phaser fought, and they actually won. And I thought Tellarites were stubborn. Let's check up on the Terrans. Intelligence officers log start date 88006.2. There have been some recent Terran incursions from the Badlands, but nothing overly organized. As of now, there hasn't been any sight of Admiral Lita since her attack on D. Nope. Intelligence officers log start date 89001.7. Getting a lot of disturbing reports from Zen Kathy Space lately. Whispers of corruption in the highest ranks, and talks of a coup are in the air on Zenkath. The Autarch's days might be numbered after his crusade failed, though the arrival of the Herc has kept him on the throne. For now. And the Iconians. Intelligence officers log start at 88039.8. Tiket's fleet is currently in the Feban sector, 
moving through deep space. She's keeping a low profile for the most part, avoiding conflict with both the Dominion and the Herc. Anything foolish enough to get in her sights doesn't live long enough to regret it, however. The wreckage of a Gamma pirate flotilla will testify to that. That's all the info I need. All right, Rom, a deal is a deal. You found the Iconian, so I guess it's my turn now. Time to put the team together? Yes. One leak and later. That's the job. Confront. Where's Gala? Really? He shot the hostage last time. He's not invited. Grunt, your database skills should help us locate the package. Always happy to help, Grand Nagus. Retreat. Still a master of Rule 33. Aren't you, Brunt? It never hurts to suck up to the boss. Of course! I presume you'll need my ship again, yes? Not this time. We'll need a ship that can fight, just in case. And we'll have it, thanks to our friend here. Good. Everyone's here. Also, full consortium. Ugh. Unbelievable! The table's rigged! I'm sure of it! <laughs> Here we are. The cloaking device I, uh, I acquired from my cousin Gala is working like a charm. Keep an eye on it, though. I'd rather not attract the attention of the Iconians. Or the Fakiri, for that matter. Agreed. Looks like they're busy trying to blow each other to bits out there. Let's use that to our advantage. You see those Iconian sentry probes? They use those to detect cloaked ships. So, you'll want to disable them before we move much closer. This cloak is good, but it's not that good. Understood. Getting in's the easy part. We're cloaked and unexpected. Trying not to get too close. Disable the first one. Oh. That should be enough to get to the flagship undetected. Well, we can all stop holding our breath now. It worked. If you'll be so kind as to fly us behind that massive Iconian ship, we'll be on our way. That should be easy too. I'm looking forward to this. Almost there. Let's take it nice and easy. We made it. I can't believe I'm actually going to sneak onto an opponent flagship and... Ooh. Keep the engine running, okay? I have a feeling we're going to need to get out of here in a... Our shell's prepped. Good luck. I've never been this close before. Impressive. There's a... Terrifying is more like it. This is insane. Well, what do you expect? Nog, you're our engineer. Buy it 400 and sell it 5. It'll be up to you to disable the security systems, son. Right. I'm familiar with their tech from the war. I won't let you down, father. Evade. We're up first, Nog. We need to lower the local security so Brunt and Lek can do their jobs. Right. No problem. I memorized the schematics for this vessel on the way here. There are engineering consoles we can use for that nearby. Follow me. I don't think I need to really talk, honestly. Head left here, Nog. I've studied Iconian systems. I can unlock these doors. 
If I send in the appropriate good. signals to the door, I we'll have to be disable able to security and engineering. The good news is that my tricorder can get me the signal I need to send. Trinary, okay. So 46. Change the first digit. Change the second digit to two. Fourth digit two, maybe? Oh, uh, a bit over. Change the second digit to zero. Third digit to Yeah, keep the keep it there. Fourth digit, two. I just use a tricord to calculate. Got it. And we're Don't worry, I can handle them. Hold on, Uncle. Something's coming. That looks like more than we can handle. Let Lek take care of it. He'll probably enjoy it. Think I can lock the door behind once it's gone? Great idea. Uh, do that. Quickly! Head right here. Use the tr I just want to get the done. And we're done. There. Ah! Stop screaming. We've made it. This is main engineering. Security's offline. We're good to go. Can we drop their rear shield for a moment? From the other console? Why? What's that? You'll Uncle? see. Call it an insurance policy. Lack, how do you feel about Iconian Heralds? Very dangerous. I look forward to shooting some. Sell it 250? Buy it 100. You'll get your chance clearing the path for Quark and Nog. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. I'm in. <laughs> Lek, Brunt, you're on. Brunt, FCA. I'm on my way. The hunt is on. Magnificent. Truly magnificent. Ooh, they fight back. Good, good. It's looking this way between patrol points. I should be able to sneak up on I duck behind the wall. <laughs> Oops. Ah, uh, not the experience.
explosion I was looking for. But it'll do. <laughs> I found the package. The Iconian keeps it on display in what looks like a trophy room. And here I thought they were above such basic behavior. <laughs> I've analyzed their patrol patterns, Lek. You'll need a clear path for Quark and Nug. I trust you'll keep the guards in that area occupied for a suitable period of time. Testing my skills against Iconians? <laughs> this is worth more than latinum to me. Don't get your lopes bunched, Brunt. I'll clear the path for the others by any means necessary. <laughs> More enemies to the left, and another council. <laughs> Shocking! What? Still no explosion? Ugh, ridiculous! If I make some noise, the big one will come to investigate. This isn't work. This is fun. Explosion sooner or later. Click the clock. The path is clear. I'm detecting some nearby patrols. I want to see if I can cause a distraction. Hold on. A nice dog. How do I overload these ridiculous Iconian consoles? Easy. First, you need to wait. How are you at trinary conversions? Ah, uh, never mind. I have a workaround. Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Brother. You'll crack the safe. Once Brunt finds it, that is. Nice of you to give me the easy job, Rom. By that point, Lek will have eliminated their guards. We're talking about Iconians here, Rom. I'll be with you, Uncle. You'll be fine. Oh, I feel so much better now. Time for me to earn my share. Watch and learn. Don't worry, Uncle. I've got your back. important you know you were supposed to shoot me if I got pulled into another one of these <coughs> excuse me 
Excuse I me. I thought you meant rescue operations. I can see you later if you'd like. No, it just wouldn't be the same. I'm impressed! That's uh, one word for it. Okay, on the map it's towards the right here. <sighs> he left some guard in the trophy room. It's okay, Uncle. We can handle that. All right, now, let's find the package. It has to be in one of the display cases around the room. Okay, what do we have here? Amazing! That's a singularity! Tiket must have taken it from a Romulan warbird. You could say it was the heart of that ship. <laughs> must have been a memorable opponent for her to keep that on display like this. Keeps poor, she keeps a black on display. Is that part of an Iconian? Why would Tiket keep a severed body part? That's insane. Tiket lost her arm when she fought Kalis during the war. She's keeping it as a trophy or, or maybe a reminder of one of her few failures. I knew she was intense, but this is pretty ridiculous. That's a lot of Latinum. Impressive. I could buy a Starliner with that and have enough left to buy a condo on Ryza. Probably not beachfront, but it'd be nice. <laughs> it's FCA graded, too. She must have gotten it from a Ferengi. Oh, tough break. Seems only fitting that we acquire it. <laughs> Fine. Mind on the mission. Stop looking at me like that. Looks like a secure treasure box. I wonder what's inside. It could be practically anything. Leave it to an Iconian to lock up a box of valuables and hoard it away. Well, not everyone is as good at opening locks as you, Uncle. Most people would need the appropriate key. Ah, I've seen these statues on New Romulus. They were made by the Daywans, a servitor race of the Iconians. Not sure why Tiket would keep one of these on display. Maybe it's of a sentimental value to her, even if that's possible. Just checking out everything. Uh, that's not a display case. Seeing these reminds me of the Dominion War. A lot of those were sent back home to loved ones. Starfleet, the Klingons, the Romulans, they all have their different rituals. Even the enemy cared for their dead. And they say you don't have a heart, Uncle. It's too bad we don't have enough time to steal these and sell them back to the people who want them. 34th rule of acquisition, Nog. War is good for business. That's a bottle of prune juice. I'd recognize that color anywhere. Worf constantly demanded I have a bottle on hand at the bar. A warrior's drink, he called it. More like a torture <laughs> drink. I tried some once. Let's just say that it was not a pleasant digestive experience. When I was younger, I had some. I liked it. <laughs> Interesting. I read about these at the Academy. Something called NASA sent them out on crude space probes centuries ago to initiate first contact with alien life. I believe this contains audio files, animal sounds, music, language samples. My Earth history instructor would love to get her hands on this. We should, uh, acquire it if we have the time. Uncle! 
That looks like Captain Sisko's baseball. You don't think it's his, do you? I thought Jake took it with him. Uh, do you remember when Sisko made us play baseball against the Vulcans? Mom wouldn't stop talking about it for weeks. Put a bunch of money into that new interstellar league, too. Still can't believe he bought a professional team. <laughs> the Ranganar Liquidators. They're terrible. Got beat by the Cation Claws by a score of 18 to 4, and they were cheating! Ah, you know, I always told the top brass at the Corps of Engineers that making the party poppers look like weapons was a bad idea. Any officer who uses one of those instead of a real weapon is in for a bad day. <laughs> I suspect that's how Taket got her hand on one of these balloons. Shame. That would be funny, though. And this is what we came for. Package located. Sword of chaos. Now we need to retrieve it. I can use this to bring the package from its display globe. I need to use the right frequencies, though. Enter the wrong one, and every alarm around will go off. The frequencies change periodically. Once I start this, I need to get them all, or I'll have to start over. I can just scan the machine for you. Should be easy enough to get the frequencies. You of all people should know that Federation tricorders record whatever they scan. Never leave a data trail. We'll do this the Ferengi way. It'll take someone with the lobes for the job. That's me. Okay. Nicely done, Uncle! We did it! We actually did it! We shouldn't stick around, though. Let's head back to the shuttle before the Iconians figure out what we're up to. Right. Rule seven. Keep your ears open and your eyes on the mark. Continue. Let's escape. That's far enough. Well done, Quark. You actually managed to pull it off. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. You've a talent for larceny, after all. Time, however, is a factor. Hand it over now, or I'll shoot you both and take it from your cold, dead fingers. You wouldn't dare. Are you out of your mind? Have you forgotten who Nog and I are related to? No payout is worth what will happen to you if you do this. Rom will have every Eliminator, Bounty Hunter, and Pirate in the Four Quadrants gunning for you. How did Lek put it? Oh, yes. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. Wise words indeed. The payout from this job will provide me with more than enough latinum to remove your idiot brother and take my rightful place as the Grand Nagus. I move. <laughs> Have it your way, Brunt. You're dumber than you look. If you think the crew of our ride won't be suspicious when you come back without us, they'll probably throw you in the brig on general principle. I know I would. Ah, but I won't be traveling with them, Quark. I've made other travel arrangements. Time's up. Hand it over, or prepare to meet the Blessed Exchequer. Ha! I'd pay a lot to witness that audit. Might even be worth dying for, 
just to hear you scream on your way to the vault of eternal destitution. Fine, I'll hand it over. <laughs> goodbye, Quark. At last, goodbye! Uh. Well, this is this just Nog now well. A force field? It will not stop me for any. Look a little closer. That's a chroniton field. You might make it through, but it's definitely gonna hurt. A lot. Or we can talk like sensible intelligent people, your call. where you're wrong. I don't have anything of yours on me. Run a scan, if you don't believe me. If anything, I was trying to stop the lunatic that did steal from you. <laughs> I may be odious vermin, but I'm not stupid. Look, we should be working together to stop our mutual enemy instead of wasting time with this argument. There will be plenty of time to eliminate each and every one of you filthy creatures. That field of yours will drop eventually, and then you will die. Your cohort will be trapped and ultimately killed. I will have my vengeance on you all soon enough. You're not entirely wrong, but I think you're going to have a much bigger problem to deal with in the very near future. Any moment now. Remember this? A little something we picked up on Karema. Keep it on your ship and beam it to our location when we give you the signal. What's that, Uncle? Call it an insurance policy. You might make it through, but it's definitely gonna hurt. A lot. Or we can talk like sensible intelligent people, your call. Explain yourself. Speak while you still can, Ferengi. They're called Herc. Maybe you've heard of them. Real nasty dispositions. Eat everything they come across, and now they've come across your fleet. <laughs> you Iconians are tough, but you're not invincible. Against the Fakiri and the Herc? Those are some pretty long odds to get. Here's how this is going to work. You're going to let us go, and in return, I'll disable the device that's bringing every Herc in the Quadrant here to chew on your ship. We'll go our way, you'll go yours. Otherwise, we'll wait and see what happens first. My field drops, or you and your ship become the main course at the Herc Buffet. Aye. Agree to your terms. Go! Get out! Leave my ship and disable your precious device. Know this. You've made an enemy today, Ferengi. I am patient. I will avenge myself. <laughs> you will pay for your crimes. Right. Then we have a deal. We'll be on our way then. <laughs> I'll take care of your hurt problem once I've made it to a safe distance. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but we both know that'd be a lie. The 
Mouth break. What are we waiting for? Run! Run! <laughs> We're almost there, but we lost the sword. We went through all of this, and for what? Quark to Madrin. Is the package secured? Madrin here. You'll be happy to know the package is safe and sound. <laughs> I beamed it to your ship a few minutes ago. I'm afraid Brunt is a little bruised, but these things happen. I'll keep him nice and sedated until we get back to the Alpha Quadrant. And Quark, no, be sure to let the Nagus know I held up my end of the bargain, won't you? I'll be sure to let him know, Matron. Quark out. Always have a backup plan, Nog. Especially when dealing with snakes like Brunt. Let's go. And look! The shuttle's right where we left it! Things are looking up for a change! Let's get out of here before Tket changes her mind. I was half expecting him to go back for the Latinum. Okay, come on, load up game. <laughs> Don't remind him of the Latinum lost. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around. Now, if you don't want to be back in DS9, very frankly, I phone you looking for an excuse to kill this girl. Rather not give me. Well, you've got a problem. The cloaking device is acting up. If it goes down, every ship in the system will know we're here. I'll do what I can to keep it running, but we might need to fight our way out of here. Understood. The cloak's offline! Terrific. This is what I get for buying a nail. And I don't have a spare one on me right this second. Don't worry. I'll be running it again. I just need a couple minutes. another way back.
Move out of range. Don't want anyone sensing our work. Cloak's online again, and we're at a safe distance from the enemy. We can leave as soon as you're ready. Excellent. I don't know about the rest of you, but I was ready to go the minute we warped into this system. And I'm doubly ready to go now. Not to tell you your business, but make it so, please. Yeah, what Quark said, let's get out of here. Quark and Nog told me you did a great job keeping them all safe. Thank you for bringing them back in one piece. The sixth rule of acquisition says, never allow family to stand in the way of opportunity. But what can I say? Family means a lot to me. Glad to be of help. There's something I'm curious about. The Herc stole the Sword of Kalis from the Klingons a long time ago, but no one seems to know why. They didn't eat it, so there must be something about it they value. And we Ferengi are all about value. Perhaps the lab's sensors and equipment can tell us more. Maybe it's made of a rare, precious metal. It's possible. Let's find out. Based on the scans, that carapace was around for quite a long time before Kalos made a weapon out of it. The blade material is over 4,000 years old, where the story of Kalos is roughly only 1,600 years old. Amazing. For molecular scan. Now, this is interesting. These readings indicate that the sword of Kalos is made out of biological material with a germanium base. I'll need to run more tests to be certain, but I believe the weapon was fashioned out of a Herc carapace. This may explain their interest in it. Fascinating. Anakin. I'm reading traces of multiple radiation types within the blade. Discounting the type that likely came from the Iconians, there are still clear traces of thermobaric and tetrionic radiation. I believe we could cross-reference Alliance and Dominion star charts and easily determine where these traces of radiation originated from. Any conclusions, Doctor? We have a 4,000-year-old weapon made of a Herc carapace. My analysis of the radiation within the blade should allow us to narrow down its point of origin. I've had the computer working on that as we speak. Let's have a look. Cross-referencing all known Alliance and Dominion star charts, and voila! There's one system that contains all of the conditions we've isolated. Havas Kul, at the edge of Dominion space. It's possible we've just discovered the location of the Herc homeworld. We should forward this information to the appropriate parties at once. This could be the breakthrough we've been looking for. Sounds impressive and valuable. Rule 21, Quark. Never place friendship above profit. Not again. Unbelievable. I knew Brunt was a snake, but Lack? Guess I should have known better. The bigger the smile, the sharper the knife. And Lex got plenty of both. He played us all for fools. He's a fool if he thinks he can steal from me! I'll have every Eliminator, Bounty Hunter, and Pirate in the four quadrants gunning for him! No one steals from the Grand Nagus and lives to profit from it! Now the Klingons won't be happy if they find out. Considering how angry my father is, the Klingons will be the least of Lex's problems. I haven't seen him this mad since he caught me... Well, <laughs> We don't need to get into that. Despite everything that's happened, we'll hold up our end of the bargain. I'll be in touch when everything is prepared. And remember, this operation never happened. I'll return to my ship then. Think they bought it? Completely. As far as they're concerned, the sword has been stolen. You, uh... Might want to lay low for a while, though. Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. Well done, brother. The Sword of Kalis, as promised. Once again, the House of Quark delivers. Martok will be pleased. So will I, Grilka, once the payment clears. Pleasure <laughs> doing business with you. <laughs> of course.
I am going to get those throwing knives. Okay, blah blah blah. Oh, we got ourselves some platinum from the deep, from everything. Researchers led by my friend Dr. Bashir have ah. isolated several fascinating aspects of Herc biology. I'm told this data provides insight on their native environment, specifically a metallic planetoid orbiting a pulsar within a nebula. There's one system that meets these requirements. Havas Kool in the Gamma Quadrant. I'm going there to investigate along with Captain Kira in the Defiant. Dr. Bashir will accompany us as well. His insight will be critical to the mission's success. Okay. The doctor believes we'll be Just seeing accept. And we're going to take the slow route there because we're getting close to the time where we're leaving. Might as well take the time and just set us up. Oh. Sinister get Well, actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to take a little detour. We're going to do Sinister Gathering here. Do a quick mission. Have a little bit of a little bit of si some side content fun. Okay, I'm gonna go after. Have to go get the asteroid to get stuff.
there we go. Secret bombs have destroyed destroyed that her cocoon ship. Well done. The and let's leave. And we're going to do the final assault here. After this, we will be heading out. And I know who we're going to be ra raiding after this. So please stick around because we're going to be doing a raid. And this time it won't fail because I actually know, know where we're going. Actually, you know what? No, we're not going to do that. We're going to end the stream here now. This is going to take a little bit too long. So, I thank you all for tuning in. If you like my content, please hit that heart icon down below. I'll try to get my stream deck to pop up, but it seems it's going to have to do this. So, this... <laughs> Is my Twitter? This is my usual stream, Baltic Advanced Universe on Fridays, and any game of my choosing on Mondays and Tuesdays. All streams start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is my Twitter account. I post whenever I go live there, or whatever pops in my fluffy mind. <laughs> and this is my Discord server. You can hang out with me and all the other fluffy wolves there, and see whenever I go live there as well. I thank you all for tuning in. We're going to be raiding DJ Particle. They're also doing Star Trek Online as well. So, here we go. Again, I thank you all for tuning in. Please stay safe out there, everyone. Good night.